Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and in this video I will show you how to make a circular cam in Onchain. So without further ado, let's get started. First, make sure that your workspace units are set to inches, and then start and insert a new tab. This tab should be Create Variable Studio. As soon as you go to it, create three different variables. The first one with the name DIA, second one, Axle DIA, and the third one is going to be thickness. Now the value for diameter or DIA is going to be 2 inches. The variable for, for axle DIA is going to be 0 0.25 inches. And thickness is going to be 3 divided by 16 inches. Now go back to Parts Studio. Rename this Parts Studio to Circular Cam. And then start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S. Use Shift 5 to go to the top view, press C to start a circle, click on the origin, drag outwards, press D for dimensioning, click on the circle, pull inside. This circle should have a radius of the variable DIA, so press D, capital D, you should get these two options for hashtag DIA and hashtag actual DIA. So DIA and then confirm. Now this is perfectly controlled by our variable. So if I were to increase this variable value, it, should, it would increase. If I decrease it, it will decrease accordingly. Now press C again, start another circle. This circle should have the diameter of axle DIA. Now that you've done this, press Shift E to extrude. Extrude this uh, sketch by thickness. So capital T, and then you should just get that. Press enter twice, or thrice, and you should get this circular cam. Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and in this video I will show you how to make a eccentric cam in Onchip. So without further ado, let's get started. This is going to be video number two of the cam series. So making sure that our workspace units are set to inches. Go down here, and then rename this part studio to eccentric cam. Make sure that you're still in the same document as you were for the circular cam and your variable studio still has these three variables with these three values. If you do, then go over here, click on the top plane and then select Shift S to start a sketch. Use Shift 5 to go to the top view. Press C, hover over this origin point and then go upwards. Make a circle with a diameter of hashtag DIA and then confirm. Now press C again to start a circle focused on the origin. This circle should have a diameter of A to get axial DIA. Warning though you sh uh, should always be in dimensioning when you're trying to dimension using variables. Now make the distance between these two center points to be 0 0.25 inches to get this sort of shape. Now press Shift E to extrude. Extrude this by a value of T to get thickness, and then confirm. Now press Shift 7 to see what you did. If it looks just like this, then you have done it well. And Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and this is going to be video number three of the cam series. In this video, I will show you how to make hexagon cams in Onshape. So without further ado, let's get started. Make sure that you're in the same document as you were with the uh, past two and your variable studio still has these three variables with these three values. And then start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S. Use Shift 5 to go to the top view. Go up here to inscribe polygon. Click on it, select the origin, and then drag out. Now as for the di amount of sides, you want it to be 6 because we're making a hexagon. And for the actual diameter of this inner circle. We don't care. We want to press D for dimension. Click on the circle. And then for this, we want it to have a diameter of DIA so that the half diameter of this, or the distance between this line and the origin, is set to exactly one inch. Now, Press C and then start a circle on the origin. It should have a diameter of axle dia and then confirm. 
Now press Shift E to extrude this. Extrude this by a value of thickness, and then confirm. This was how to make a hexagon cam in Ocho. Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and this is going to be video number four of the cam tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to make a pair cam in Ocho. So without further ado, let's get started. First, make sure that this is in the same document as these prior three cams, and that your variable studio has these three variables with these three values. If it does, then start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S. Then use Shift 5 to go into the top view. Press C for circle, and then draw two circles starting from the origin. Then go straight up from the origin, making sure that the vertical constraint is applied, and then draw a third circle. Connect all of these circles, or these two circles together with lines, so just press L and then click and drag, making sure that they're coincident with the circles. Now press T for the tangent constraint, or go up here and click. Apply that by clicking this line and this circle, this line and that circle, same thing with this circle. Now that you've done this, press M for the snipping tool, snip off both of these lines right here, and then press D for dimensioning. Dimension this larger circle or radius to be diameter divided by 2, and this upper one to be DIA divided by 8. Now, the distance between that center point and the origin, it should be DIA divided by 2. And the distance of this right here should be axle DIA. Now that you have this, press Shift E to extrude. Extrude this by a depth of thickness. Now press Shift 7 to go into an isometric view to see your extrusion. Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and in this video I will show you how to make a heart cam in Onshape. So without further ado, let's get started. First, make sure you're in the same document as you were with the last four cams. If you aren't, please go there and then make sure that your variable studio looks exactly like this with these variables and these values. And then start a sketch on the top plane using Shift S. Use Shift 5 to go to the top view. Press C to make a centered, origin centered circle. Press D for dimensioning the circle. Dimension it to a value of hashtag DIA or hashtag diameter. Now zoom in, press C and then make a circle either on the right or left side, top right or left side of within the circle. So I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to press D for dimensioning. Dimension the center point of the circle to this line or this plane right here and the distance is going to be DIA divided by 5 and then from this plane right here this is going to be DIA divided by 8. Now press T for the tangent constraint. Apply the tangent constraint to this circle and then this larger circle. Go and select the mirror option. Select this line as a mirror line and then mirror this circle to the other side. Now that you've done this C and then make another circle or make two in fact right here and right here both of these circles should be within the boundaries of this larger circle now this D again mention this circle to be DIA divided by 10 and the same to this one Now what you want to do with this one, the bottom of the origin, dimension it to the bottom of the origin and the distance between them should be 0.9 multiplied by hashtag DIA divided by 2. Now what this is going to do is make sure that this entire model is scalable to whatever future values of diameter that we happen to have. 
Now, zoom over here, press T for the tangent constraint again, and then apply the tangent constraint to this smaller circle and either one of these larger circles. Now, this is going to give us that curve that we like for the heart. And then press L to connect. Press L to connect these larger circles to the smaller circle. Kind of like how we did it in on the pear can. Press T again and then make sure that both of these lines are tangent to their selected circle in the smaller circle. Now press M for the sniffing tool. Snip off all of these excess lines that we have for our heart. Once you've done that and you're left with this heart shape right here, press C and make a circle in the center or on the origin. This circle should have a diameter of axle DIA right here. And then now that you've done that, confirm your sketch, press shift E to extrude this inner heart. This prevents any small discrepancies in our machining process. Now for the depth, we want it to be thickness. And this was how to make a heart cam in Anju. Hello guys, this is Fusion Forge, and in this video we will be making a snail cam in Anju. This is going to be the final video of the cam series. So without further ado, let's get started. First, make sure that you're in the same document as you were for the all of the past cams. And then make sure that your Variable Studio has the exact same names and values as right here. If all of that is true, go back to the snail cam and then go to this variable table right here. Click on it and you should get Variable Studio and then snail cam. Under snail cam for names, write down D4, enter, D5, D6, D7, D8. Now this is just going to make our lives a bit more easier. For the value of D4, we want it to be DIA. For the value of D5, we want it to be DIA divided by 2. For the value of D6, we want it to be parentheses, hashtag D5, plus, in parentheses, hashtag D4, minus, hashtag D5, then multiply it by a value of 0 0.25 divided by 2. What you should get is 0 0.625 as the result. Now double click on this for that, and then highlight all of it, copy it, and then paste it into D7 and D8. The only change for these variables is you're going to change 0 0.25 for D8 to 0.75. And for D7, you want to change it to just 0.5. These should be the values, and then confirm. Now, start a sketch on the top plane using Shift-S. Use Shift-5 to go to the top view. Press C, and then start a circle using the origin. Back upwards. Press D, as we have been doing. Dimension the circle to have a diameter of HIBIA. Zoom in, draw another circle. This one should have a diameter of hashtag DIA divided by 2. Now that we've done this, all we need to do is press Shift S again to get the point option and then draw five points. So make sure that you're vertically constrained to the origin. Select the inner circle making sure that the point is coincidentally constrained to it and vertically constrained to the origin and do the same exact thing with the outer circle right here. Now that you've done this, draw two circles that are horizontally constrained to the origin and then a last one that is vertically constrained. Now press D, mention the left one from the origin, it should be a value of D6. Now, origin from the bottom, it should be a value of D7. From the origin to the right, 
it should be a value of B8. Now that you've done all of this, press A for a three point arc, select this point right here, and then select this point, making sure that the arc is towards the circle. Confirm. Now draw similar arcs all around here, not caring about their dimensions, just caring about the way that they're pointed. Now that you've done this, press P for tangent constraint. Apply the tangent constraint to this arc and make it tangent to this circle. Now, selecting this arc, select this arc, and then just keep going till you have this perfect spiral pattern. Now press L for line and then connect both of these points using a line. Press escape and then change this circle construction using Q. Press C again using Q to disable construction and then making a circle with a diameter of axial dia. Now that you've done all of this, confirm your sketch, press shift E to extrude, extrude the snail shape, press shift 7 to go into an isometric view, For the depth, we want it to be thickness, and then confirm. This was making a snail cam in Anche. Please remember to like and subscribe and Remember to comment down below if you have any suggestions. Have a good day.